Hey everybody, it's Safia Marco Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again. I am here tonight, and I say tonight because this is yesterday evening before I upload this video. I am here to commentate over a very infamous film. Well, the film isn't infamous, the trailer for the film is... And that film is Hungry Bitches, a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. Two Girls, One Cup. And so I am here today to react to the entire film, which is an hour and one minutes. And I have already seen the uh, trailer years and years ago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anyone who hasn't seen that, honestly. Probably Safi. Safi would never have seen anything like that unless some guy, some random guy from the Middle East sent it to her in the private messages or something. Because, uh, you know, you, th that happens a lot of the times. Like, you guys wouldn't believe the stuff that I've been sent through private messages, the disgusting shit. That I've had to report and stuff like that. But anyways, the reason I'm doing a commentary is because I actually just got done shooting a scene. Well, actually, two scenes in a montage. But I need to record the sound. And the problem is, is that uh, there's race cars going by. And it's going to make it impossible for me to record any sound until like tomorrow morning so I thought it would be a good idea to just do a commentary where I watch something and uh, talk about it so and I have a snackums with me too and the, th the thing that I have as a snack is 12 uh, chocolate balls uh, Safi bought me these chocolate balls at uh, the dollar store and they came in this little Frankenstein container. And so there's there are these 12 purple balls. And uh, I'm going to be eating those uh, while I'm watching this uh, movie. And I also have water with me. Because at lunch I, I had a drink. I had a, a protein shake at lunch. So I'm not going to have anything else like that. So uh, let's get st let's get started. I, and you guys remember how good the Texas Chainsaw commentary was the the Texas Dildo Masquerade. I have a feeling this is going to be even better. So uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> has anyone even done a reaction of the whole film? I don't think anyone has. I think they just watched the trailer uh, like little wimps. And wait, let me let me do something really quick. I want to uh, make the sound better in this room a little bit. I want to do something where I just learned on YouTube where you can you can block out sound reflections, whatever those are. So. Let me guys know if, if you just heard, if you just noticed a difference in the sound. Okay. Okay. Oh, that sounded weird, like what I was just doing. I was pulling up my chair, okay? I was not doing what you think I was doing. Okay. And I am ready for this. I don't know if you guys are, though. Here we go. And if you guys are squeamish, if you guys, uh have upset stomachs, then feel free to leave. I will stay here. I will stick it out. Because I am... I'm braver than the Batman. You know, I bet the Batman couldn't do this. Here we go. And begin. Begin. Come on. <laughs> and they have this... See, this isn't an American adult film, so it's got the Spanish uh, warning right here. Oh, there's an American one. It's protected under copyright laws, which is why uh, it's all over the internet. You can watch the whole thing for free. Oh, here's the intro. The 
company animation. Ugh. This looks like a video game from the fucking 90s. It's like a computer video game. There's like a white horse and a vineyard or something. What is going on? This is worse than the actual video. Camera by Camille Critley. And now it's like turning black and white and there's a yellow bird flying around. Like, what the... Like, what is this? What does this have to do with the types of films that they make? Like, is that some just generic... Is that some just generic intro video animated intro video that they bought from like a software company back in the uh, 2000s <laughs> like seriously that looked terrible totally unnecessary they should have hired me to make their intro for them because I could have made them something better than that starring and the video is going to freeze too, which sucks because my computer sucks. Carla. And. And we got the music to. Ooh, Latifah. Ooh. <laughs> now here's some flowers? Like, what was that for? It's like an establishing shot of flowers? I can I can barely hear the dialogue, so I hope you're happy with that, uh, filmmakers. If I can't hear their dialogue, how am I going to be able to hear anything else? Oh, they're already starting to kiss. They're kissing at some shitty stone or marble table, and there's like a... Ugh, everything looks so cheap. It's like, God... If I watched this normally and I didn't know what it was, I'd just be thinking, these bitches need some, some, they need a raise so that they can afford a better place. I mean, what what is going on here? Like, I don't understand. What's the story here? I mean, it's called Hungry Bitches, but there's no story so far. It's just straight into the action. It is pretty enticing so far, to say the least. I, I can't remember, too. Which one was Carla and which one was Latifa? I got... I got to admit, this is tough to watch now. Because it's, it's pretty good so far. <laughs> Listen to this, guys. That's it. That's all you guys get. Why are they moaning so loudly? They haven't even done anything yet. They're just kissing. And now the camera's, like, spinning around them in circles. Like, this is some sort of a, a professional film from Hollywood. Oh, that's a good shot. This is this is very strange. I have a very strange feeling because I know any second there's going to be some explosive something. You guys know what it is. This is very uh ooh It's very weird so far. It's like, I respect it though, because, you know, at least people are getting what they pay for. I mean, already, this is so much better shot than that Texas Chainsaw Massacre parody where it was like, the scenes weren't even good looking. Like, they weren't even enticing at all. They were just these average, boring looking scenes they didn't have any personality to them. You can at least tell this this cameraman. He, Curdle, what was that guy's name? Fucking Camille. He has some, uh, he's got some cinematography, uh, 
game, if that's what you could call it. Like, uh, he, I bet he slays in South America where they made this film. You know, he really slays uh, the bitches because of his cinematography in Hungry Bitches. Like, I bet he walks down the street and you got these girls come up to him and they're like, hey, I saw your work in Hungry Bitches. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> and, and then they're like, yeah, let's go to the uh, beach. And he's like, okay. And and then they go there and they start filming a video called, uh, you know, Beach Diarrhea Massacre or something. And if you guys are wondering why I'm talking so much, it's because the video is buffering because I'm waiting for it to load. And I'm stuck here on the image of Latifa with her tongue out on the other one. And it's like this very bizarre image because it's like, I don't know. This is very strange so far. It, Because w- when are they going to start doing the other stuff? Like, it, I don't understand. Like, when you buy a film for one type of thing, if you know what I mean, why wouldn't you just get right to that one type of thing and not delay people? Like, it, are they trying to do some suspense here? Are they trying to be suspenseful about, like, when... The shit's gonna hit the fan, literally. Okay, let's get, let's try to see if it'll go any further. Ooh, that's a good shot. This this movie has a lot of great shots so far. I gotta say, like, it's a. Uh, this is a. This is a quality production. This is very good. Like, this is probably, like, right now, like, the the shots that I'm seeing right now, probably some of the best shots I've ever seen in a, a, a video like this. I think. The one thing I don't like is that Carla, she has this blue eye makeup on, and it makes her, it almost looks like a drag queen's makeup. It looks kind of like a divine and pink flamingos. And so it's a little bit of like a... Because it, it just looks so fake. It's like she just got done working at the fucking Renaissance Festival as a fucking fairy. The blue fairy. <laughs> and she's wearing blue too. So she literally... You could just call this bitch the blue fairy. In fact, that's what I'm going to call her... I mean, you just have to wonder, though, like, what was the purpose of this background? Of They have, like, a a laundry machine, or no, a dishwasher, and they have, like, these flowers on top of the dishwasher, and then on the other, uh, and they have a sink, and it's got all these dishes in it, and they're all dirty, and they're not cleaning those dishes, and it's very strange. I mean, this is, it's kind of slow, honestly, now, like, it's six minutes in out of an hour, and we know what is supposed to happen in this, like, if you saw the trailer, I mean, I do think, now, I think they're having some suspense action going on. There is a lot of like, lip-smacking in this video. Like, very, very... Like, if you took a shot every time there was lip-smacking and suckling, there would be... You'd be very drunk. Oh, God, she's biting the nipple. Oh. Oh, no. No. No, this isn't Titanic. Oh, no. No. No, don't bite it. Don't bite it. No. No. No! God, that was... Oh, she's doing it again! No! No! Stop doing it! No! Okay, okay, she moved on. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> that, was, that was really uncomfortable. That was like Titane all over again with the, the, the ring. And see what's funny is that Latifah just covered her 
her chest back up with her shirt. Like, you know, the actress, she literally got scared what was going on. She was like, okay, this bitch, she's a little, she's crazy. Okay, I, I mean, I'm in a video called Two Girls, One Cup, but this bitch is crazy. Okay, now we have a reversal of what just happened for the first, like, six minutes. So now Latifa is with Carla. I will say, I do like the fact that the whole hour is just two of them. Because in a lot of these videos, you'll have, like, just a scene. You know, they call it a scene. Uh, you know, these long sequences, they'll just call them scenes. That's a, and that's very flabby. It looks like a piece of bubble gum. Looks like she's sucking on a big wad of bubble gum that's been chewed up for days. And she's got so many earrings on that she looks like the, the bad guy from 300. This is fun watching these videos because nobody else does. Everybody else is too scared. They're too embarrassed to watch these types of videos and review them and commentate over them. Not me. This is called dish out on movies, not uh, dish out on certain movies. Okay? I mean, let's be honest, this movie was made to service a certain crowd. And that crowd is obviously welcome on this channel, always. But, uh, you know, you have all these other people, and they don't understand that crowd. And so they say all sorts of things about this film, and uh, and they should, you know, just shut up because, like, you know, it's just a different audience. It's just a different film. You know, there's nothing bad about it. They're not hurting anyone or anything. And so, you know, I don't think there should be anything wrong with this. But, uh, you know, so far, we're ten minutes in. haven't had anything happen that was... That was in the trailer, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, chocolate ice cream... In fact, I was going to eat chocolate ice cream while I watched this movie. But I just thought I should get these chocolate balls over with. And uh, I'm waiting for the video to unfreeze again. <clears throat> so I guess like every five minutes I gotta fucking sit around and wait for the video to unfreeze. That's a shame. So, so far, I, th I think Carla looks better a little bit. Maybe because of her, her the blue. Like, that's a really nice blue uh, color of the wardrobe that they picked out for her. But she's crazy. I mean, she's she's like a cannibal or something. She's got, like... Like, I'm telling you guys, if the camera cut, she would have torn it right off when she was biting down. Like... It, that was terrifying. That was genuinely terrifying. It's like something you'd see in a fucking uh, Eli Roth movie. And God, I'm just looking at Latifa. Latifa, what is wrong with you? Like, it's fine to have earrings, but there is a sharp spear. It is a. It's like a needle, and it's it's inside her ear. And it, it, it looks so painful. And it's like, God, like, what is the matter with these people? Like, forget all the later stuff in this video with the, you know, the... You know, forget all about that stuff. You know, let's talk about having needles inserted into your ears. I mean, oh, ugh. it just makes... It just, it, it, it gives me pain. <coughs> and so I'm still waiting for the video to unfreeze. I got a couple of related stories that I could tell about uh, 
chocolate soft serve ice cream. I'll just go ahead and tell one story. So there was this one summer, uh, I think it was 2006, where I was vacationing in Chicago and I took a bike ride to the park and I had gotten food poisoning from something and I was wearing like this really queer looking outfit with like it was like a red and white and gray flannel outfit with like matching a uh, shirt and pants and I was having like explosive diarrhea all the way to the park and I was being forced to ride on this bicycle the entire time and this is how good of an actor I am you know I'm I'm not you know obviously I'm not like trying to brag but I'm just saying in this circumstance back then uh, how good of an actor I was I guess I should say uh, to be more humble is that nobody even knew the entire time so I rode all the way I think it was like 20 minutes to the park 20 minute bike ride having explosive diarrhea having to sit certain ways so that it wouldn't be noticeable and so that I could go play in the park and not sit around at a, a relative's house and then I played around in the park with other kids and they all like really liked me and we had a lot of fun together for like 30 minutes and even they couldn't tell that I was having explosive diarrhea and that it was just all soaking uh, everywhere like just a complete mess and and then I rode well okay and, and I was supposed to ride the bike back home too but I actually maneuvered it to where I only rode half the way there. And so I was such a good actor that I was able to trick everyone into thinking that I was perfectly okay for like two plus hours. Meanwhile, was having horrible food poisoning, horrible uh, uh, stuff that you see in this video, okay? And then when I got back home, uh, oh God, gross. So anyways, let's continue this video. Let's see what Latifa continues to do to the Blue Fairy. Come on, Latifa. Let's, uh... Let's get back to the video. Come on. Come on, unfreeze. Come on. Why is it still frozen? I um, pressed the play button. Come on. <clears throat> well, this is anticlimactic. I don't get what's going on. Uh, she just dove in for more, and then it just paused. Like she dove in for more, uh, some more bubble gum, and then it paused. Oh, there we go. We're moving. Got movement. Oh, now it froze again. I gotta say, like, the Blue Fairy's poo 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 nani uh, looks very bizarre. It's very weird looking. It looks like a. It looks. <coughs> it looks like the Blob. It looks like a miniature version of the Blob. But we're gonna have more uh, lip smacking going on. And uh, Latifah's just going up and down and up and down. I guess it's good to watch this to uh, have education. I hate this freezing shit. I wish that I had like a good laptop up here to do commentaries like this. Ooh. Now uh, Latifa is showing some... Okay. They pick really good wardrobe for these two. They did good in the wardrobe department. I 
I saw that these two were in other films too, but they weren't in any straight films, I believe, which is unfortunate. Uh, so now uh, Blue Fairy is going back on uh, Latifa, and the thing is, is that now Latifa has learned her lesson, and so now she is turned away from the Blue Fairy. Uh, so that she can't get to her breasts. You know, she learned. This crazy bitch. And now she's, uh... I wonder, is anything gonna happen? Is anything gonna start happening now? Because we're already, like, how much into the... A tenth of the way through the video. This slow-moving, freezing video... It looks really nice though, like it, it's shot very well. I really appreciate the production value of the, the cinematography and everything. It's like just because it's this type of film, oh, going into the refrigerator. What are we getting in there? Gonna make me a sandwich? Gonna make a shit sandwich? I don't understand. I didn't see what she got in the refrigerator. Now they're... Oh, they got a cup. And there's two straws. Oh. Oh, now they put it on the chair. Which one of them, like, looks more excited? Because, like, when they first entered this room, they, like, locked the door. Like, this is a set. But they locked the door. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the blue fairy's not holding it very uh, steadily. She's like shaking all over. Oh. <laughs> it just like exploded. <laughs> That, that, that is just, that is unbelievable. Like, that is almost like a talent or something. Like, there has to be some sort of scientific explanation. Like, I refuse to believe that happened so fast. It was like a, uh, now we're, and now they're like, they're, they're like, they're like teasing you and they're like, they're like moving forward and they're not but they're not touching it they're like air licking it oh she's going to do more now she's peeing on it <laughs> and it's like this and and now this part isn't good because it's like it's like six streams that are like it's like a it's like a, a shower uh head squirting out water. Doesn't look very good with that part. And the blue fairy, I don't I don't know, she doesn't look that enthusiastic, but we all know how crazy she is. And oh now of course right before they start uh, devouring their Dairy Queen soft serve uh, the video has frozen again and now on that note and we just have this picture here of the blue fairy and she's just staring down at her snackums and she just looks very concerned but she's like you know I am determined to do this for the paycheck and uh, uh, props to her Props to the Blue Fairy. Blue Fairy uh, making her dreams come true after she helped make uh, Cinderella's dreams come true. That's why they had to hire a guy to play the Blue Fairy in the, the newest shitty Cinderella's because the real Blue Fairy was too busy filming Two Girls, One Cup. A.K.A. Hungry Bitches. You know what's sad, though? It's... It's sad that the actual movie never has never has had any music 
Because I, I really think that the thing that makes the trailer so memorable is that music. Because it just sounds so playful and hilarious the way it's... It, it just doesn't fit at all. It's almost like, why even have a trailer? Uh, you know, they should really just have, like, the girls talk over the trailer. And, and like, the girls do, like, a, a narration or something. Because, like, I just don't think it needs music, the trailer itself. Would have been better to have music in the actual film. So on that note, I'm going to have a chocolate ball. It's a, it's a very soft chocolate ball. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like the chocolate on Whoppers. But a little bit better. I don't really like Whoppers. I think they're some of the worst. They're what, that's one of my least favorite Halloween candies. For some reason, I just don't like the waxiness of the chocolate. And I don't like some other things about it, too. <sighs> well, and it's 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 been like double the runtime of this, too. So, this fucking video is going to be like two hours because I'm sitting here waiting for the actual video to load. Like, this isn't fair. Too bad I didn't just download this or something. But yeah, that was very unbelievable. Like, it, she was just hovering there one minute, and then it was at the next. And I was like, you know, this, this almost seems like a... Like they had given her some sort of I don't know like I don't I don't know the behind the scenes it's too bad that, uh it'd be fun to have like both the actresses on here and could interview them about how it feels to be in this video I watched a video about them a while back someone made a video pondering where they are and there wasn't really a definitive answer unfortunately Kind of reminds me of the actors and Goosebumps, the way that they disappeared. Oh, here we go. <sighs> now, this is unfortunate. They've pulled back the camera. I mean, this is not the time, like, I understand filmmaking, have wide shots, but this is not the time, now they're, like, scooting the chair away, I don't understand, like, these are some strange choreography moments here. It's almost like they had a bare idea of what they had to do in this video, but they didn't have, they didn't. They didn't know what either of them was going to do. Oh, the blue fairy is puking inside Latifah's mouth. And it's funny because you can tell that Latifah is not into it as much oh, as the blue fairy because Latifah closed her mouth actively. Let's see. It looked like Latifa picked up a snack. Is she gonna eat it? Doesn't look like it. It looks like here we. Oh, she is. Oh no, she's just putting it on her lips so that it. it or wait. Oh fuck! The video froze again. Damn it! This website takes the L. Because they're making this commentary be super long. I'm only 16 minutes into this hour-long video. 
But it really seems here like Latifa, she's not really into it. The Blue Fairy is. So this whole video, we're going to see a bunch of moments where the Blue Fairy goes way over the top. And Latifa, like she sort of pulls back. And she does these little tricks and things. Because she's really not, uh, she's not having it. That's what, I mean, I can see so far. We've seen multiple examples now of this. And to me, there there should have been some sort of an auditioning process where this was uh, considered. You know, the fact that this video, it only has two people. It's made for a certain audience. You want both people to be into it, or you want to have a storyline where one of them is like an uptight person, and so then it'll make it like type of a, a role play type of thing. Maybe. Let's play some more. Let's see what. Oh, she put it in her mouth. Oh, she's crunching it up. God, just look at those bits of puke. It's this is almost just like so bad that I can't look away because it's like oh she swallowed it. Like you you know what they need to do? They need to make an adult comedy version of how to eat fried worms. But instead it's called How to Eat Fried Turds. And you could have these two girls star in it. And I guarantee it would be fucking hilarious. And it would make a ton of money. And of course the Blue Fairy, she's just... She's like playing with her food. She's like spitting it out and sucking it back in. And she's just totally having way too much fun with this nasty looking uh burrito uh bean refry bean from the bean burrito like she's like trying to find like trying to dissect oh she just she just had two pieces of snackums and what i'm gonna throw up I, i'm sorry i'm i am ugh Okay, this is this is getting tough. But uh now they're both got pieces. You have to wonder like what exactly does one look for in a video like this? Like what what are the top 3 things that you have to have? I mean, I th I think seeing it Seeing it, uh, seeing it go out is number one. Number two, the, um, you know, like, what are the, what are the checkpoints? What are the check boxes that they have to think about when they say, okay, and now what's Latifa doing? Oh, she's going to throw up. And Blue Fairy's excited. Uh, is that Bernie? No. Luckily, I looked away right when she threw up in her mouth. Oh. 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 It looks like pieces of sweet potato and... Pieces of the inside. Oh, she's chewing up the puke. Oh, God damn. <laughs> That's too far. That is too far. You nasty, nasty bitch, Latifa. It did say they were hungry, though. I mean, they're hungry. What are you going to do? I mean, this is just like the most bizarre, and yet it, 
it, you have to respect it because it's shot so well. And it's shot to where you can see probably the people who bought this, they enjoyed it. It's got a 38,000 views. It's got 73 likes and 7 dislikes. So, it is hitting the demographic, you could say. And now we're 20 minutes into it. Um, it's getting tougher and tougher because they're doing grosser and grosser things. And... And it, it just kind of seems a little pointless in a sense because it doesn't really feel the same as a regular, regular videos like this where, you know, you have a guy and you have a girl and he gets to a certain point and then it ends. You know, like that's a, it's a, it's a formula. It's a, it's a magic formula. But with this, there is no getting to that point because they could just go on forever and ever and ever. Uh, so it's kind of like a an endless buffet. It's like a uh, when you have dessert and then you have second dessert and then you have third dessert and you're like, okay, this is too much. Like I'm eating too many desserts uh, today. Don't need to have five popsicles, a piece of cake, and a piece of cheesecake. You know, that's kind of like what this is. It's like overdoing it, you know. Uh, they should have had, like, different scenes with these two same girls, maybe. Like, have a scene in this setting, and then have a scene in the outside setting, and then have a scene in another setting. And, you know, vary up the settings and you know, kind of make it a little bit of a story, too, uh, because they could have definitely done that with, uh, with these two actors. I mean, I've been making up the story with you guys. Like, I've been making up one. They could have taken this directly from me and just, uh, applied it to this, and it would have been a little bit more better flowing, literally and figuratively. Oh, let's press play again. <laughs> I thought it was going to be easy. It is pretty easy, but it's getting tougher and tougher with the with the various things that they do that are just so random. I mean, now they're sucking on their fingers and then wiping them on the dirty chair. Ew, now they're like uh blowing their nose or something. Oh. Oh, Blue Fairy's gonna throw up again. Oh, okay, they're clearing their noses because they're throwing up so much. Oh, no. Looked like some orange sherbet, melted orange sherbet just came flying out. This is like a Halloween attraction. Oh, shit. No. That was disturbing. Oh, Latif is like making it into a smoothie. Oh. <coughs> okay. Oh, how am I going to make it through this video? <laughs> how am I going to make it through this video? I have to, though. I will be the only... You guys realize this. I will be the only person on the entirety of YouTube who has sat through the entire video. And then at the... I would like to watch... I want the music. Oh, the music. At least the music will make it funny. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Come on. Oh, she's not, she's letting all the dribblings, she's pushing the dribblings back into her mouth. What's that sign? Oh, there's needs to be an update to the laptop. Fuck off. There needs to be an update to this fucking 2011 laptop. Oh, 
fuck off with that shit. Well, to me, the hard parts of this video more so have to do with the throwing up stuff. Because it's like, these bitches are literally, like, dissecting the puke and, like, teething through the puke and feeling the different items that are in their puke. And it is, it is the most weird thing ever. It, but it's shot so well. It's, it's perfectly shot like the cameraman for this video. He's got to have, he's got to have billions. He's got to have gajillions with this type of camera work going on here. This isn't just an amateur video that, you know, ha 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 ha. It's that funny video people watched on you. No, this is a professionally made video. And you have to admire that. You have to really uh, take, you have to think about that, how awesome that is, how impressive that is, that this guy, I wouldn't say impressive, but like, you know, you got to respect it. And so now I'm going to tell another story. So, uh, if you guys read my memoir, The Super Dumbass Director of Fucked Up Memoir, or you listen to the audiobook for free on YouTube. I talk about a certain person and uh, someone who moved away at some point. And she had a brother and sister, and they were a younger brother and sister. And they talked all the time about this type of thing. But they talked about eating it and smearing it all over the walls and playing with it, and finger painting it, and it was very weird. It was like, why are they so like this? Like, it's really bizarre. It was like they saw it as a game. They saw it as some sort of a fun activity that they do at home together while their sister is, like, downstairs, and she's like, what the fuck is going on here? So then what happens is this family moves out, and the person who goes to clean up that house, I think they came over to inspect ours, and they went inside their house, and they told us that when they looked through their house, when he looked through their house, he saw all these brown smears all over the walls, and he said, I hope it's just chocolate pudding. And so these crazy ass people, they just they, they just painted the walls with their doo doo, and and this guy was like, I hope it's chocolate pudding. <laughs> but now, if you guys are wondering, the house has been torn down. Uh, well, it was burnt down actually by uh, the fire department for fun. They wanted to do some experimental burning. Uh, so, <laughs> because they, they wanted to burn the evidence of the fucking, <laughs> the fucking doo-doo finger paintings. <laughs> the doo-doo art gallery. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get through five more minutes of this uh, movie. This masterpiece. And this is better than the movie I watched last night, I gotta be honest. It's, uh, at least it's way better shot. The actors aren't green screened in. God, the blue fairy is insane. She's like a, she's like an animal. She's like a, ugh. She is, she has got some sort of a mental illness that rhymes with Oh, no, that's what the straws were for? Oh, God. No, Latifa, no. No. Oh, no, Latifa. No, this is not a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh. Now we're 
were feeding each other like birds. And Latifah just has a, a, this look on her face like, I am in this video. I can't do anything about it. She's accepted it. You know, she, she's done hiding it. She, she's done uh, hiding away from it. She is just accepting her fate and playing along as she thinks internally that she's grateful for the fact that at least she gets to throw up. You know, she has to eat or throw up, but at least she gets to throw up. And it's just, why are they just, like, are they going to just, like, spend the entire video with just this one girl's, like, aren't they going to have the other girl do it, too? Now it looks, it doesn't even look like it anymore. It looks like, it looks, uh, it, uh, uh, it looks, uh, oh, extreme close-ups. No, oh, that's not the image. To, oh, she spit it all over the camera. I don't wait, no, her breath got all over the camera. Oh, and she swallowed it. Oh. Uh. It doesn't, oh, God, this is hard. This, this is one of the, this is probably the most challenging thing I have ever done on the channel. And right now, please like and subscribe, please do, because this is hell. This is absolute hell. I could deal with the, you know, the the first stuff, but the the puking stuff is is too far. Because oh my god, Latifa, she is like an she is inhuman. Like she she is just firing all cylinders, orange sherbet everywhere. It, it is it it's you have to wonder like she has to be like a mutant or something like wouldn't it be cool if they added her to the x-men like she could seriously be a member of the x-men who just has this explosive stuff just squirt all over the bad guys uh i fully in fact i'm gonna make a fucking picture with latifah on the X-Men. And we'll have to come up with a nickname for her too. For her superhero name. She could be like in a Deadpool movie. With Deadpool. That'd be pretty cool. Deadpool would probably be like. This is kind of hot. Because my character is pansexual in the comics. Or I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Deadpool would be into Latifa? I think he would. Oh, oh. Oh, there's some sort of a seed that just came out. Oh, there's. A, uh. Oh, she's smiling. Oh, she's washing the... She's swishing it around. Oh, she's... Oh. Oh. We... we oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, cool. A bunch of the video just loaded. You have to wonder how much it hurts after they puke this these many this many times. 
Oh, now it doesn't even, it doesn't look like orange sherbet anymore. It looks like, uh, it looks like liquid clay. And you notice, too, that both of them ha have, uh, uh, oh, they both have hair dues. Oh, they picked up the doo-doo cup. Part of the reason why I think this video is not an A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at, oh, it's, it. Part of the reason is because it's called, it, it's supposed to be centered around the cup. And they've hardly even been using the cup. Uh, uh, the cup. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. This is... Worse than playing the hardest video game I've ever played. That's how hard this is. But I really expected more to do with the cup. Like it's like they'll they'll use the cup. And then they set it aside. And they spend like 30 minutes doing stuff that has nothing to do with the cup. And yet another thing that's strange. Is oh now we're going to. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, more puking. No. Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. This is not normal. Oh, shit. Oh, what was that? It was like a... It was a big piece of something. It was like a churro that came flying out of her mouth. Are they going to show that piece of what flew out? I'm kind of curious. Oh, you can hear the... <laughs> Oh, there's corn. Oh! 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 That is, that's what you call authentic cream corn. Oh! Ne okay. That was the best time to pull out to a wide shot. Okay. Thank you, cameraman. See, this cameraman's a chad. Number one, he has to put up with the smell in there, which is probably like smelling a, a rotting corpse. Number two, literally, he really knows when and when not to pull out. You have to wonder, too, like, somebody gave Latifah these tattoos. Why hasn't the tattoo artist ever come out and said, Hey, I gave the two girls one cup girl tattoos. Like, you'd think that someone like that would want some sort of clout for doing that. Some miniature clout. And now we're getting back to the stuff that we did in the very beginning. <laughs> I'll just say like you know what from now on I'll just say at least there's there's not puking cause ugh god there was so much corn ugh, uh, uh. there was so much corn it could have been like children of the corn ugh that's another thing they could do oh, I don't want to give them ideas but they could do children of the corn Parody.
with these two girls. And uh, I'll buy it for a dollar. A.K.A. just watch it for free. And I'm going to just take a, a, a break now to go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> to go to the bathroom for reals is. And so, yeah, uh, we're 32 minutes in and the video is almost fully loaded. So we're going to have no issues. I hope this won't be two hours. So, okay, and we're back. Got 27 minutes left, and the video is fully fucking loaded, which is fantastic. That was so irritating, because this video went on way longer than it would have if it wouldn't have been pausing for a million years. I just have to wonder, too, like, have these two actresses ever spoken to each other ever since they did this video? Oh shit, dinner's ready. <clears throat> well, I can't eat while I watch this anyway. Especially after that corn incident. I'm having corn for dinner. So, if I bring corn up here and I'm watching this while I eat corn, then I'm going to be in deep shit. And now she's like painting the rim of the cup or now the other girl's We're getting into some strange territory. Because she's smearing it on the Blue Fairy. But why doesn't the Blue Fairy just give some product herself? Like, isn't that pretty weird? This is fine. This isn't, at least it isn't the vomiting stuff. I mean, you can see on the floor, there's just this puke all over the place and see the cameraman he noticed all the little bits of puke and so he picked up the camera and now he's going to show a close up of this instead which at least is better than the stuff on the floor uh, how it looks <clears throat> you have to wonder like what was the direction like just do the same shit over and over again <laughs> like literally there's a shot from the trailer, I think. I want to get, like, fucking photo ops with these bitches. With, like, a cup. And the cup has, like, chocolate ice cream in it. Like, real chocolate ice cream, obviously. From, uh... I don't I don't like Dairy Queen. I had last uh, two weeks ago I had a chocolate malt from Dairy Queen. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was very good. Ew, now she's gonna puke on the blue fairy's ass. Ew. Ew. Oh, now it's white. How the hell is it white now? How is her puke changing colors? Oh, she's licking it up. <laughs> and now we're, the cameraman is zooming in for the first time. He is using the zoom in. He zoomed into Latifah and she, she's, she's getting into it now. She's diving into it. And now this, this is, this is okay. That's intense. Latifah going straight in. You have to wonder, like, the direction must have been puke, 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 puke. Like, the script, you know, if there was even a script for this video, it had to have been puke, 
puke. Oh, that I swear to God, guys, she just puked a gallon, a gallon of white puke. And how is it white? Why is it changing colors? Why is it changing textures? It is bizarre. Like, somebody has to explain that to me. Like, I would understand, like, if it became clear because, like, you know, because there's nothing left. Like, you know, she's basically puked her guts out, but she is puking. White puke. Oh, now we got a bowl? Oh, finally, the blue fairy is going to contribute to the situation. Finally. Oh, that's some... That's not very impressive compared to Latifa. You just got some... Oh, it's piling up now. It was like a chocolate faucet. And it looked kind of weak at first. But then it started piling up. And it's like, okay. <clears throat> Got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in here. And now we got a spoon. You have to wonder too, like, both of theirs is pretty much the same consistency. The same texture. So you have to wonder if they were both given something to make it that way. Because how did they find two actresses who do do the same do do? And now they're swishing it around where they're saying, "Would you to put you to put go put go? Would you see my to you put the put the book up go?" I I don't understand what they're saying. I need subtitles. Is there subtitles in this video? No. That's unfortunate. I wanted to hear what they had to say. This is the only time in the entire film where they have spoken. I mean, this has basically been a silent film, aside the, or, or, like, there's been the same couple of sounds this entire video. No dialogue, though. we got 20 minutes left. Well, at least the Blue Fairy finally contributed. I was like, okay. One of the reasons I won't give this an A+, plus is because the Blue Fairy is not contributing to the pile. Another thing that's very disappointing is the fact that the video is called Two Girls, One Cup. Well, I guess that's just the, the internet meme. Uh, I guess, you know, Hungry Bitches implies that it could be multiple vessels but I was kind of under the impression that they would both do it in the same cup and then they mix it together or something so that's kind of disappointing I was kind of uh, anticipating that it's also surprising that they never made a sequel I mean you have to think that these actors and the cameraman at least know about the fame of this video and so it's really strange how they never came back to do part two because it, it could have been easy money easy money and that's another thing too how much money do you think they're still making from this video you think anyone still watches it I guess people do but I mean, do you think anyone still pays for it? Now we're going back to the bowl. We're going to do a more make-out session. See, now it's at like 42 minutes, and it's kind of like deflating, because there's not really anything left to do except the same stuff they've been doing for the past 30 minutes. So it's kind of like... You know, how is this video going to end? Is it going to end to where they've licked the floor? Oh, God. Please don't lick the floor, girls. Please. 
Please don't do that. Get the janitor to clean up the floor. And not, and no, don't, not the, like a janitor character. Get a real janitor to clean this shit up. Oh, more puke. Oh, oh, here we have another hint. The blue fairy is holding her shirt closed so that she doesn't get more stuff in her shirt. <laughs> See, you can tell. You can, There's all these hints here. There's all these signs here that something just isn't fully, that the chemistry isn't there. I don't think these girls have any chemistry either. Like, I think that, oh, there is a piece of corn on the inside of her, oh, oh. <laughs> she just went, Ugh. Like, you could tell she's, she doesn't like this. She doesn't like this, what's going on right now. She's playing. She's play-acting. I'm convinced now, 100%. Blue Fairy is, like, massaging the... the what do you call that? What's that thing? The, the, the thing that hangs down that you press and you throw up. Oh, that looked like chocolate milk. Blue Fairy just puked out a chocolate milk gallon. You have to wonder, too, like, did they ever, like, tr want to do this on Fear Factor? Because this could have been the perfect thing for Fear Factor. Seriously. Like there's so many there's only so many times you can crawl through bugs or crawl on bugs or get locked in a tight space or eat gross bugs. You know, there has to come up to a point where you go further than that. And you know, you don't have to go much further, but you just go further than that than that in terms of, you know, nobody's getting hurt or anything. And so what's the harm? And now Blue Fairy is like in a yoga position while Latifah's gonna puke some more white... Oh, now what color is it? Oh. Oh, God. It's gray now. Oh, she just puked like three gallons at once. Oh, we're going for a fourth gallon? A fifth one? Stop it! You're gonna ki you're gonna die, Latifa. You're gonna die. Stop it! You're no, not a seventh one. No. Oh. You, you're gonna. Yeah, she. You got nothing left, bitch. Stop doing that. It's stupid. You got nothing left in your gun. You got no ammo left in your weapon. And now they're in a oh. Oh, oh, it is a puddle. It is like the biggest puddle I have ever seen. It is like a puddle that you'd see in fucking Clockwork Orange. Was there ever a puddle in Clockwork Orange? Oh, wait, no, Groundhog Day. It could be like the puddle in Groundhog Day. <laughs> That's how they defeat the bad guys. They create puddles of stuff. And now she's smearing stuff on her legs randomly. So you can tell that like Blue Fairy is like into like more traditional stuff. And so like she's like putting it on her leg in like this very strange place. And now the Blue Fairy is not even gonna, she's not even doing anything with it. They're doing the other thing, the thing they've been doing the whole video a million times over and over again. We have 13 minutes left, thankfully. <sighs> they both look so worn out from puking so much.
They don't have much chemistry. Not enough to be doing what they're doing here. And still, there's this huge... There's I don't understand. Why did she wipe that stuff all over her leg with a spoon uh, if she didn't want it to get licked off? That's weird. Now she's going to puke again. It's like she's eating, and then she's puking when she just ate. Like, these girls better brush their teeth after this, because their teeth are going to fucking... They're going to go away in two seconds from the acid from the vomit, like in fucking Fargo Season 3, with that bad guy. I would have to say, though, that I kind of admire Latifah more, because she's been putting a lot more into it, in terms of, like, she has puked probably gallons of puke. She has she has done so much for this video. You should have just gotten a different girl than the Blue Fairy. I don't think that the Blue Fairy was good for this video. She needed a different scene partner. And I don't understand why they bothered to oh, we're gonna Blue Fairy's gonna contribute more. And now it's just going straight into Latifah's mouth. Which is more normal for these types of videos. Probably. I guess that that's good. Like, I will say that, like, I wasn't expecting that. And I think that, you know, that is a good climax in terms of you know, that's something good to have it be like the final thing. You just have to wonder if uh, Latifah is waiting to fire more as well uh, into the Blue Fairy. Because, oh, there was like a piece inside it that was so gross that she took it out. And she's like, I'm not eating that. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to eat all the rest of it, but I'm not eating this little piece at the end that looks like an eyeball. I mean, yes, there is like a, a blot, uh, it looks like a whopper. It looks like a little chocolate ball. And it, and you know, she took it right, oh, she's giving it to the blue fairy. She's like, there you go. You can get high on your own supply now, bitch. It almost looks like a tongue now. You have to wonder, like, what is that? It has to be some sort of a piece of something. And <laughs> you, should, you guys have to see, you guys should have seen the Blue Fairy realize that it was something gross and weird. And she had the this look on her face like, oh, no, I don't want this. This is disgusting. And then she uh, swallowed it really quickly because she was realized that she was not liking what she was having. That was hilarious because Latifah, she gave it to her because she knew that like, I'm not doing it. I'll you just do it, dumb biatch. Like L Latifah's cool. I I I gotta find who Latifah is. She's, she's like, she's feisty. I can see why they got her. She's, she's, she's spicy. She's, a. she's unconventional. The Blue Fairy is just very over the top without any sort of proper direction. Oh, now finally... Now, this is something interesting, too, the fact that the whole video, Latifah has never gone for Blue Fairy's boobs, but now she is at the very end. And you have to wonder, is she going to get revenge for what that bitch was trying to do to her at the beginning? <laughs> that cannibalistic biatch, Blue Fairy?
See, I think the Blue Fairy is caught off guard by everything that Latifah does, which is kind of why I like Latifah, because, like, you know, they, they, they had no direction for this video. Like, they just had, okay, you do do the stuff that you're supposed to do, and that's it. You also Something else that's kind of weird is the fact that normally with these videos, you would think that all the stuff would get used up. But it's almost the very end, and they still have quite a bit left. And it's like a huge, like, waste for this type of video. <laughs> now Latifah's diving in with the soft serve. That was just hilarious, though. I'll never forget that when she had that gross piece of something, like a chunk of meat or something. It was like a, it was like a ball or something. It 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 was like a, an eyeball, and then she gave it right to the blue fairy. And I'm talking about that still because this was really, this is really tame what she's doing right here with uh, the crack. You know, it's really tame in comparison to the other stuff that's been going on. So I'm just kind of like ignoring it a little. Oh, and there's, this is unfortunate. There's a couple of little, uh, there's a couple of little pieces of puke on the camera now. So now like the picture is less good because I, I guess maybe people would like that too because it's, it's a little interactive, maybe. <sighs> I mean, this this video is just really more puke centric than I thought it would be. Like, it's very weird. I guess just because it's like, I don't know. And you guys have heard my puke story before about the time where I was sitting on the bus and there was this bitch who had her birthday and she brought in cupcakes and I was I went to sleep and I woke up and I saw her and she was asleep and she had eaten her entire tray of cupcakes uh, because she had all these leftover ones and she was just sitting there in orange puke on the bus seat and she had orange puke all over her clothes all over the seat all over the floor and the smell it, it looked like tomato soup and then we got in line while the bus driver cleaned it up even the the puke girl and she was standing in front of me and she turns around and she starts puking all over me and I shield the puke with my Simpsons backpack <laughs> And then after that, I spent 20 minutes sitting in the front seat trying not to throw up. <laughs> I kind of like Latifah. I think Latifah's cool. But she she is keeping her shirt buttoned. And yeah, like that cup, it's full. The cup is like almost full still. And normally in these videos, it would it would be completely cleaned up. And I guess the ending is going to be some more tame stuff. It's kind of sad. I was expecting that uh, Latifah was going to uh, contribute more to the Blue Fairy. And now the, the blue fairy's like spitting on her, which is strange. And now she's going to puke and we're doing a zoom in. I kind of like this shot though. This is a good shot. And she hardly has any puke left. So it's just like a little bit. 
I wonder if they could just taste the stuff in their mouth, like, for hours and hours or for days after they did this. Like, how do you think the recovery process was from this video? Like, you know, when they're eating normal food, what do you think the process was like of, like, I'm eating a chili dog right now, and I am actively thinking about how this reminds me of what I did last night or yesterday and now they've got the cup and the bowl there's two minutes left oh now they're going to mix it together at the very end really oh they're taking the puke from the floor too oh no oh this this they're not taking all the puke from the floor okay oh oh there's that, the piece, oh, there was the, oh, there was the hard piece. It looked like an octopus tentacle. Oh, they're both drinking it. Oh, oh no. That's a good climax, I suppose. A for effort. I give this video an A. These actors put a lot of effort into their work. The camera work was fantastic. And uh, it, it did exactly what the demographic wanted it to do. And, and now it's funny because Latifa, she was pouring it in because she's the one who's pouring it in. And when she saw a gross piece coming, like a hard piece, like a big piece coming for her, she 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 put the bowl back down, <laughs> and then she was like, "Yeah, never mind about that. Let's let's not focus on that." And we have ten seconds left or so. And yeah, she's like purposefully avoiding pieces, certain pieces. You have to wonder why she doesn't rotate the bowl. With her hand while she's busy doing the sloppy makeout, because she could easily just turn the bowl the other. D oh, she is. She's mixing it up. <laughs> See, she's purposefully. Well, at least she did that. That was pretty good strategically. I wonder if this movie's on Letterboxd, because I'll have to add it to my Letterboxd along with the Texas dildo masquerade and I guess there's still movie left yeah and what she's doing now is she's <laughs> she poured it all into her mouth and now she's gonna let the blue fairy eat it all out and take it for herself so that, like, she's it's in her mouth, but she's not going to eat it herself. So this video has actually been pretty entertaining because the whole time Latifah has, has played this game where she has strategically avoided, like, everything, and now she spit it out. She's just done playing around, faking it. She's just like, okay, we got ten seconds left, I'm done. And now it's faded out. Oh, and it says the end. All rights reserved. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, I enjoyed that actually. I thought that that was very uh, fun. It was very fun to dissect the the actual full video because I never knew it was just a trailer until like uh, last year and so the whole time I had thought that maybe just like this was an amateur mini video and it was just some funny thing that kicked off but the fact that it's a trailer and you know there's not even anyone who reacted to the whole thing besides me is pretty funny so anyways I give the video an A I can't give it an A plus because there were a couple of issues I have with it you know, obviously, the big glaring issue was I thought that uh, they didn't have chemistry together. It was very awkward at certain points because 
they both didn't know what the other one was going to do. And so they both had to like play along with each other. And it was very awkward and unnatural. Uh, since, you know, you can tell they both probably don't do it in their free time. They just do it for videos. So it was like a thing where like, you know, people who don't shoot guns, like Alec Baldwin in their personal time, they go to a movie set and they shoot guns and they do it terribly because it's not natural for them. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please like this video after I just did that, please. I think that I deserve it. And please subscribe too if you'd like to see me watch more of these types of videos because I think it's fun. I think it's a ton of fun. Nobody else does it. So I like doing things that nobody else does uh, because, you know, it's like, it's like that dirty jobs guy. Uh, you know, I like doing the jobs nobody else wants to do. Is that what he says? Is that the slogan he says? And then please comment and uh, tell me if you know the people from this video or if you are the people from this video, comment and tell me if I was right about anything that I was saying. And yeah, just tell me what you thought of the original video with that infamous music.